Hi everyone. Today's a quick video showing what you can expect for the demolition of the truss section that's still resting on the bow of the dolly in Baltimore for the Francis Scott Key bridge collapse cleanup. I've been involved with many, many bridge projects, particularly over the past 25 years. And in fact, I'm going to show you some footage of some bridge demolition on projects that I've been involved with here in the last couple of years. But let's look at what the unified command for the dolly cleanup has issued in terms of an animation. This work's expected to be conducted this weekend. So we have this animation showing the shape charges, controlled demolition of the truss section still resting on the bow of the dolly. Now, as I mentioned, demolition was just done the last two months in different stages for the Buck O'Neill Bridge replacement project. The existing bridge was a triple arch steel truss bridge built in 1956 and they conducted some demolition work here earlier this year as recently as last month as a matter of fact so I think it's very analogous to what's going on in order to demo the truss section off the bow of the dolly. Let's take a look at this here. So it goes very quickly, just a little puff of smoke. There'll be an exclusion zone of 1,000, 2,000 feet just to prevent any debris from flying and striking someone. Let's look at a few more images here. Now, what do they do in order to do this controlled demolition? Well, they use shape charges. So these shape charges consist of high explosives surrounded by a metal sheath. And when the charge is detonated, the metal sheath flies out at high speed and cuts anything in its path as much as a knife would. And it cuts right through the steel in strategic locations. And there's a lot of engineering that goes into selecting exactly where the charges go and in what sequence the charges are fired. But the idea is that support is removed and then gravity does the rest. And they want to remove support in such a way that the structure falls away from more important structures. Now let's look at this from the Unified Command, this animation that was recently released. So they cut holes and insert the shape charges and then wrap the surface to contain the charge. So typical explosives could be nitroglycerin, dynamite, or other explosives. And let's just look at this final animation showing the shape charges have all been put in place, locations wrapped, and detonation occurs. And just like you saw in the real life instance of the Buck O'Neill demolition of the existing bridge, it comes down relatively quickly with just a puff of smoke and a loud bang. So for my part, I tested the new foundations for the replacement bridge. And once traffic was opened on the new bridge, then they demolish the old bridge. And using explosives in a controlled demolition is a very efficient way to bring these sections down. And it's also safer in terms of if you have structural members under a lot of tension, you can cut a piece and the other, another piece flies away. I remember I was at an Air Force base in the 80s and there were these overhead pipes, fairly large, like 10 inches in diameter, as I recall, that would conduct steam and they had these column supports spaced out periodically. And I saw a contractor, I was working on a different building, but I look over and he cuts a section of pipe off and it wasn't supported at the other end. So the whole thing acted like a teeter-totter and the one end flew up the distance that it took for the other open end to hit the ground. So it was like a 40 foot lift all of a sudden for one section of the pipe. Obviously you don't want anything like that when you're demoing a bridge, particularly immediately adjacent to the ship, the, the dolly here. So that's a quick overview. I'll be watching this weekend or the coming days to see how this work is actually implemented. But again, I think it's gonna look a lot like what I've shown in these other bridge examples. I wanna send a shout out to the channel members. I really appreciate your ongoing support. I'd also like to send a shout out to those of you who have provided super thanks. And another thanks to those of you who have commented on these videos and hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks very much, everyone.